all right so back to code regrever section and this mono is going to be from chapter or parts four all right so what we did the last two right is just that we pull up this guy and put some regular expression so probably i find a better way to handle the form so you can just do it like if the form if the sorry the email if it contains the dots and by some regular expression it contains their art so <coughs> Then we want to test it again there uh, I think the email dot value I didn't have my hands okay and then we want to just go ahead and request for maybe there is com so dot you can test it against their so email dot value and in some case might not be com it might really not be com in some case so it's not really true when we are asking for only com it can be yahoo it can be anything sorry it can be any not just only com it can be the business email or anything so for now for this scope of tutorial we can just add only com so what we are saying that if the email contain these these and it contain the three of them that's just all we are saying then we want it to be true then once it's true so we want to say email is valid let's validate this real quick um the proper email email is valid and when one of it is missing we can see we link up to the registration successful page so else this is what we are just going to really do so instead of doing if email is valid so if it is not true right now so we can always embed this to be uh is invalid so it should work now all right so let's really pull up something out uh, you can if i click on submit email is invalid and um, if it is now valid dot com if i click on submit so we are able to move to successful page so real quick let's pull out the password we have really done the gender so uh if it is empty i'm not saying it's moving to please select gender so we really do this wrongly so if it is empty uh that's when we want to if it is actually empty that's where we want to tell them that please select gender only if it is empty so email is invalid for real so let's put the valid email so it's a please select gender everything works fine now and then uh, let's just pull out the password for you so you can say let password uh password patterns what pattern do you want to have for password not really much of pattern as a matter of fact you can use any of this guy in your password it really make it encrypted so we want that so we can say else if password is actually if password is empty if it is empty or the password dot value dot length if the length is lesser than eight characters so we really want to throw an error there the password is not is not really valid so like that so let me just put it like this so we want to prevent the document the form from submitting so we prevent the, the default then we want to put mess dot in html to be please uh okay let's just say valid password apps to prevent from malicious attacker so the user is going to know that something is really really up something is really really soft with the password that it selected so let's just try this up so let's select a email is going to stop us you know this store is going to stop us so valid password apps to prevent from malicious attacker so let's just put one so it's the same same thing so let's say we put one two three four five six seven and it's going to seem until we put something like eight so it's not submit now so that is how to validate the length of the password that we want so another thing is else now so all we have to do is that else if the confirm confirm password if else if so we are not reaching the uh what's called here else if uh the confirm confirm password dot value is empty 
so if the confirm password does value is empty and they're all the confirm password dot value is not really equals to confirm password dot value is not equal to the password dot value so we want to show uh a, we want to if prevent the firm from submitting so prevent default there we can show in our message in i share mail that says uh password mismatch password mismatch obviously this is how to handle most of these things you see online right up there so that's how it's really really being handled password mismatch let's take this up real quick so let's say this one is because if you don't set up these guys they are going to stop us that's why i prefer to set it so one two three four five six seven eight i click submit say password mismatch because we really don't put the value of this until we put one two three four five six seven eight we should be able to link to the successful page all right i think we've, we've really gone too far to handle all this guy one by one and uh, we can just say else now else just go ahead and return true so return true is going to now link us into into the page now so let's just go ahead and use this form like a normal user is going to do so the first name is john the last name is do the email is john don't do as gmail that's com is a mail then the password of john do is one two three four five six seven eight and we need to confirm the password now one two three four five six seven eight then we are linked so let's just say john do have some issue with the form now so we didn't let the password so value password is to prevent from malicious attacker and uh, but actually have to put it right there so i really managed to show you all you need to know except we need the out to series because there are a lot of uh, things i used to do Possibly for me, I don't wait until the user click the button until I validate the button. I can always do that when the user is typing it. So I can always read it. The as the user is typing the name, I will begin to read the value by using on key up attribute right here. So when the key is up, any of these inputs, when the key is up, when the key is pressed, or anything, we can go ahead and call this undo event. In fact, let's just do that real quick. So it's not only this guy that is validating it now. So where are you first name? I'm only do it on first name for a very brief uh, this thing. So on key up, on key press, on key up, you can use so on key down. So let me just use on key up. So when the user is, is actually the obviously done typing. So I want to call undo form function. So let's just go ahead and refresh this now. So if I begin to type John so it said use a uh, email reader is valid even it's invalid so that is because email is obviously invalid so let me just put john john and let me just begin to put number in john can you see immediately i start to put number i said invalid first name so that is how i can actually do it with while i'm clicking it so by default it's capturing email i don't know why it's capturing there is his focus is always on me and that is because these guys we need to really really validate them separately but for the sake of truth also it also works like this but on a normal cool uh, website or some kind of a thing this is not how you're going to do it there are better ways to do it when we reach the auto series i'm going to show you the better one. all right guys see you in the next tutorial